Welcome to the newest edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. Joined by David Deal, I am John Schmelk. And Dave, today we're going to take a look at Giants' third round pick from the 2020 draft, Matt Parrott. He was considered a developmental player coming in. What did you see from him on the field? I love that he got experience both at right tackle and left tackle. And the fact that he got these game reps to work with Kevin Zeitler and with Shane Lemieux on the left side, it's only going to bode well for him as he moves into his second year. Because when you're on the sidelines playing in live games, it doesn't make a difference when you get into your second season. All right, Dave, we know about his tools. We see it in pass pro here against Baltimore, playing on the right side when he rotated in for Cam Fleming. Yeah, the first thing that you know that Don Martindale did for the defensive coordinator, when the back's offset, you usually think that there's an opportunity for the back to chip on the outside. But what do they do to take away that blitz and take away that chip? They start mugging the linebacker up because right away when that happens, you know as a right tackle, I've got Matthew Judon one-on-one -on -one from that point forward. And when they do that, they bring the blitz on the inside, and Matt Parrott does a great job getting inside hand leverage, staying inside out, and look at that press at the end to really restrict him and to get him off of his body. All right, now we take a look at our next play, and Dave, it can be very difficult for rookies to deal with some of the complicated pass rushes in the National Football League that you didn't see in college. One example is the stunt, and on this play, Matt Parrott does a great job picking it up and playing his responsibilities. And it's great. I like what Matt Parrott does in this play because he identifies that something's different. When you have Aaron Donald playing this wide at that three technique, Alert should go off in your head that something's happening, especially since it's third down. So what does Matt do on this play? He sets with his inside hand up because by setting with that inside hand up, you see it gives him the opportunity to stab the three technique. Why does he need to stab the three technique? Because they're running a game. They're going to run a TE twist. If Matt doesn't stay vertical and get that inside hand up, there's a great opportunity and a chance that Aaron Donald can split him and the looper is going to come free to the inside. Sets back vertically, gets that inside hand up, locks it out, and they're able to punch and pass that TE. And then he runs Aaron Donald kind of around the quarterback as well, which obviously not an easy task. Always finish the play, and that's one thing that you always love to see out of young players. And in this play, coming up against the Washington football team, they're going to bring an edge pressure off of the edge. So what does that do? You know that you're going to get movement from this defensive end position. He gets an inside veer by the defensive end, Montez Sweat. Look at him. Gets his second foot in the ground and is able to overcome this block. Brings it back inside, covers him up, and ends up finishing him at the end of this play. I'd still like more of an aggressive finish because you know Montez Sweat, if he gets a shot at your quarterback, he's going to take it. you got to play through the whistle on that one. And you're into his second year. The most important thing he has to do to take that next step and earn a starting role. I think, number one, being more aggressive with his hands. He's got to be aggressive at restarting and redirecting defense events. It's one thing if you place them. It's another thing when you disrupt them and set them off of their angle. The other thing, lower body strength in the run game. That's something that any offensive lineman works in in the offseason. Those are the things that he can work forward to with his techniques and fundamentals to take that next step in the second year. That's today's edition of Inside the Film, presented by Sharp. For David Deal, I'm John Schmelk. We'll see you next time, everybody.